What's up, everybody? It's Andrew coming back at you with another episode of the Jaguar Podcast. In today's episode, I'll be doing a pregame analysis of the matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cincinnati Bengals. But if you want to show your support for the channel, hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon if you want updates on latest content. All right, so the week four matchup, Jaguars versus Bengals. Um... You know, I, I can see the Jaguars possibly stealing this game and running away with a win. Um, and the reason why I think that is because I think the Bengals are kind of running high off of their win against the Steelers. And I think they're going to honestly sleep on Jacksonville. And I'll, I'll get into a little bit more of that uh, later on in the video. But I think in order for Jacksonville to win this game, they have to show... Uh, momentum early. They got to play smash mouth football. Uh, they have to give Robinson more carries. He only got 15 carries last game. So he's got to get the, more, the, the ball more, uh, at least 20 plus carries in this game. Uh, you know, keep feeding him the ball and then, you know, switch it up, go play action, um, go deep. You know, the Jags Play calling has been fairly vanilla. I know they kind of mixed it up a little bit in the last game against the Cardinals with that flea flicker play. Um, and they also did, you know, target the middle of the field a little bit more. I think they need to target more of the middle of the field, but but just mix it up, run some different routes. Don't always, you know, favor the sidelines, which is, you know, what what we've seen a lot of. You know, they throw a lot of these routes to the sidelines uh, these curl routes and these out routes. Let's just switch it up. Um, let's get LaVisca Chenault going. Let's run some jet sweeps. Let's just mix this up. Um, you know, don't overcomplicate it, but don't be so vanilla as well. Um, you know, let Trevor stretch out that arm. You know, let him throw uh, a deep ball into the middle of the field, you know, after, you know, giving some, some looks to the defense um, and have them bite on that run. And then go play action and just just hurt him deep. That's what I'd like to see. Um, and you know, uh, defensively, I mean, we need to blitz, pressure, pressure, and more pressure. Josh Allen's got to have a good game. Caleb on Chasen's got to have a good uh, game. And uh, Miles Jack's got to tackle better. Um, you know, just the defense has to play better and get pressure in Burrow's face, make him you know, uh, feel uneasy back there, make mistakes, uh, and turn the ball over, hopefully. Um, you know, don't underestimate running back Joe Mixon for uh, the Cincinnati Bengals. He hurt us last year. Um, Got to stop the run. I mean, that's going to have to be a key thing for Jacksonville so that they can stay in this game because uh, if they let Joe Mixon get going – it could be a long night for Jacksonville, um, and we want to get our defense off the field. Uh, secondary, you know, did some uh, did a good job in the last game early on. You know, Shaq Griffin did better. He kind of uh, limited DeAndre Hopkins uh, in that last game against the Cardinals. So, you know, the secondary's got to play well. Um, I'll get into the key matchups in a second, but, um, you know, special teams, I'd like to see us get something going there. With Jamal Agnew, who had a great game, um, ran one back for 102 yards, uh, a kick six. It was really awesome. Um, Lambo, if he's out there, he's got to make extra points. I, I don't know if we see him out there. Maybe we do. I think, you know, we'll see how the week goes on. But we just signed this kicker to the practice squad uh, for Jacksonville. So who knows at this point? Urban may give Josh another shot. I'm a big Josh Lambeau fan. I hate to see him struggle, but, you know, I think he's on a short leash at this point. Um, so he's going to have to step it up. Um, let's talk about some of those key matchups here in this game. We'll start off with Jacksonville Jaguars cornerback Shaq Griffin versus Cincinnati wide receiver Jamar Chase. I think this is a pretty obvious one. It's going to be one to look out for. Uh, Jamar uh, Chase, a threat, a deep threat. Um and uh, has a relationship with Joe Burrow. I think they uh, played together at LSU. So, um, you know, that's going to be one to look out for. Shaq Griffin's going to have to have a good game. Going to have to lock him up, uh, you know, minimize his production in this game 
uh, in order for our defense to be successful and get off the field. Uh, another uh, matchup to look out for is Jacksonville Jaguars wide receiver DJ Chark versus Eli Apple, Cincinnati Bengals cornerback. Uh, Cincinnati's uh, secondary is pretty beat up. Uh, a ton of injuries there. So, um, you know, we may see, uh, we may see, um, you know, their secondary, or excuse me, their second string corners out there, um, like Hilton and, and uh, Eli Apple. Um, and if that's the case, that's uh, an opportunity for Jacksonville to win on some of these matchups, these one on one matchups. So, you know, it could be, uh, you know, Mike Hilton versus um, Marvin Jones Jr. And I think Marvin Jones Jr. and DJ Chark are good wide receivers and they can win these matchups. Um, so I think that's something to look out for as well. Um, you know, on the offensive line, it'll be right tackle, uh, Jawan Taylor for the Jaguars versus, uh, Cincinnati Bengals defensive end, Sam Hubbard. That's one to look out for. Um, Jawan is going to have to play a good game here. Um, and just minimize, uh, those pressures, uh, against Lawrence. Um, and then, you know, looking at this Jacksonville Jaguars secondary again, Tyson Campbell uh, versus uh, Cincinnati uh, Bengals wide receiver Mike Thomas. Um, that'll be one to look out for. I'm kind of unsure whether we'll see Trey Herndon. I know he's been injured. He may uh, play in this game, um, but it's a little too early in the week to tell. So be on the lookout for that one. But I think the Jags could sneak away with a win here. Um, and it could be an exciting game to watch. I'm pretty excited about it. Some uh, nice uh, matchups, like I said, to look out for. Um, and it feels like, to me, guys, Trevor's getting better every game. So this will be a fun one to watch. I'll be doing a live stream on Thursday on the YouTube channel. Uh, stop by and check it out. Uh, we'll, we'll talk some Jags and we'll have a good time, as always. But let me know how you feel about this game, guys. Uh, do you see the Jaguars winning or losing? Leave me a comment on the YouTube video or podcast episode. Subscribe to the channel as always. Show your boys some love and support. Stay safe. Stay sane. Stay healthy. Go Jags. And I'll see you next time. Duval! What's up, everybody? It's Andrew from the Jaguar Podcast. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, there's more content over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always. And remember, this is a podcast. So you can find this pretty much wherever you find podcasts. There I'll be doing interviews of current and former Jaguars players, including Joe Schober, uh, Dewan Smooth, Shaq Quarterman, etc. And I also do interviews of former Jaguars players, including Natron Means, Jimmy Smith, Tom McManus, etc. So be sure to check out the podcast, subscribe to it, stay safe, stay sane, stay healthy. Go Jags, and I'll see you next time.